Hey everyone, it's Gabrielle and Kenny. We're over here at Oxmoor Toyota today. We're trying to stay warm, but we wanted to shoot this video real quick on a 2021. This is a Toyota Land Cruiser. Now you guys, there is a ton of features on this and we would like to share with you a few of them. But Kenny, you want to say a couple things, right? Yeah, so this is the last year of the Land Cruiser, at least of this iteration that we know of right now. Uh, on previous videos, I've mentioned that I ordered our new vehicles and it was kind of sad when I got the news. So. It's been what's called sunsetted for right now. And I think we'll see something else come out in a few years, but the Land Cruiser actually started out in 1951. The first was called the BJ Prototype. That thing used to climb Mount Fuji, go over 8,000 feet. So there have been about seven different changes since then. Uh, this one has been around since 2008. We know this thing for being the most beefiest off-road vehicle. And it, for a cold day like today, you could fit a lot of people in here and keep them warm. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, take a little look around the outside and then let's get warm on the inside. What do you say? All right, yeah, let's take a look. Starting on the front of the vehicle, you're going to have the LED headlights, daylight running lights. Um, on the back, you are going to have LED brake lights as well. You've got that beautiful chrome front right there. Uh, this one has the 18-inch alloy wheels. There you, you do have the aluminum running boards. And on the top, you have the roof rack, um, which is really going to be nice. If you're traveling, you need to put stuff up there, bikes, you know, all of that cool stuff. Getting out and camping, doing whatever you need to. Right, exactly. And you do have the trailer hitch. I believe there's one in the front, but there is one back here. And then it is a 5.7 liter uh, V8 engine. So really nice. Yeah, and I think the last thing I kind of want to touch about on the exterior of this, you're not going to see very many of these. And this is a magnetic gray metallic. Mm -hmm. I can only find a couple within about 250 miles of us. So they're not going to be around long. If you're looking for something to do on a cold day, <laughs> here's the thing <laughs> to do. We'll have it warmed up for you. So let's, right. let's get on the inside and take a look. Yeah, sounds good. So now we're in the vehicle. I'll talk a little bit about the infotainment center right here. Um, you're going to have a nine inch touchscreen. A lot of neat features throughout here. Um, one thing that Kenny and I were just talking about, if you hit the climate button right here, this is something new that I have not seen in Toyotas. Um, so it's kind of more of like that touchscreen you can kind of hit and it'll um, adjust the air um, that way. It's a nice visual. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that a lot. Then you can just hit your um, home screen or your navigation will take you back. Um, as far as like the heating and all that, you are going to have heated and cooled seating. Um, there is the uh, perforated leather seating for the front and the back. You also have a heated steering wheel. Um, you are going to have like your crawl uh, control, all of those right here, easy access. Right here in this little hidden gem, you can push that and you're going to have your wireless, your Wii um, charging, so you can put your phone in there. Uh, a couple other things. Your DVD goes right there. Yes, that's right. That kind of, and It really does hide, like you really don't even see that. I had to look for it earlier. <laughs> but yeah, you'll put your DVD in there um, and then we'll show you in the back in, the minute, in a minute, but uh, we do have two uh, very nice size screens back in the second row. Another really neat feature up here is right in here, if you open this up, there is a like little mini fridge in here. I hope you guys can see that. It's called a cool box. Uh, another feature, you do have the bird's eye view camera. Um, so you hit right here and your cameras will come up. And if you hit it again, you've got that. Um, for the side of the vehicle. So I've got that on my Tacoma uh, TRD Pro and where I find it really useful is when I'm trying not to uh, rub my tire against a curb if mm -hmm. I'm really, really close in a tight spot. And I use it for that, but I don't use it all the time, but it's really nice because you get a unique view that you can't possibly see out of your ears. Yeah, no, I like that. I hit that again and I'll take it off. Um, again, if you look over here, you're going to have three memory seating um, buttons. So if you, you know, the wife's driving, husband's driving, possible kids, um, you guys can adjust that so you don't have to readjust your seat all the time. So that's gonna be really nice to have. Oh, it's also got the fold-in mirrors over there. I can't really show the button. Yeah, but so I have the button right here. Um, here, let me figure out. Push how the bottom one. Bottom one. Yeah. There I actually used that a little while ago when I took this through the car wash. <laughs> because yeah, it's so be wide, yeah. Yeah, Make so you sure push it down there. and it goes in and then push it up. Um, another features up here, you have this wood grain um, kind of throughout and then you've got the chrome on the doors. Uh, it's really beautiful. I mean, you know, the Land Cruisers are definitely a luxury Toyota. Um, and so that wood grain with the chrome, I mean, it just really comes together beautifully. It's such an iconic vehicle too. And, you mm -hmm. know, it's like we were talking about earlier with it going away, 
sad to see, but we know Toyota will come out with something better as they always do. Definitely. Uh, up here, you've got your big sunroof, which you would yep. expect in this. Definitely. I'm going to get on back here in the back just a little bit. Gabby, what's the size on these screens back here on these? Uh, the TVs? screens are 11.6. Wow, that's nice. Mm -hmm. They're very nice. And uh, they do come with two wireless headphones as well. Um, so kiddos or any kind of family members can watch a movie and not have it blaring throughout the car. Yeah, and you can see right there where I've got it, uh, the controls for that for the volume for the, mm -hmm. the wireless. You've got uh, heated seats back here, which is nice as well. Plus, uh, your own fans, you've got uh, HDMI inputs. Yeah. as well as um, a couple other USB charging areas. Yeah, another thing, um, there is uh, JBL speakers throughout the vehicle. Oh yeah, there's some right back here. Yeah, and there's 14 speakers total. Um, so you're gonna have really nice sound, and there's also an amplifier. Yeah, there's um, one up there that you can see. There's one up there by Gabrielle. Yeah, there. so the sound's gonna, it's gonna be really nice. There's a lot more up in uh, the front of this vehicle than I thought of when I got it in earlier, just to, we just got it in yesterday, so. Uh, you'll still see a little bit of badging on there from that. Mm -hmm. um, I think one of the things that's pretty unique too is the, the back of this vehicle. So you want to go back and show the exterior of that and then we'll uh, yeah. kind of wrap this up? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. All right, so we're in the back of the vehicle. Uh, I want to open the trunk. So there's a button on your key fob. All you got to do is press that and the top opens. Yeah, what's kind of neat about this, here's your little handle to uh, drop the bottom section of this as well. Very nice. So it kind of fits that whole outdoor rugged feel for different things you can do. Mm -hmm. These, uh, there are the headphones right there that you were talking about. Yeah. Still in the bag. Um, but you also have different tools here to let these seats lay down as well. Uh, you've got another charger back here as well. So this place is, this vehicle is built for being outdoors for an extended period of time. But also in town, the thing rides really, really well. I was having too much fun driving around the parking <laughs> lot. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, uh, it's beautiful. But so yeah, so it does seat eight. Uh, but you know, you can comfortably knock this down and have a huge back room for you. All right, so we'll shut this. All right, guys. Now, if you have any questions, if you would like to stop in, I know the weather is not the best right now, but we are here and we would be more than happy to uh, show you around and take you for a test drive. So let us know. All of our contact information is right here. So thanks so much, guys. Stay warm and we will see you all soon. Bye.